Hello friends, it's Ms. Dwyer and I've been really enjoying exploring this marsh this springtime. The marsh behind me goes through lots of my town and it's even tied into the pond that we enjoy swimming at during the summertime. So I have been finding many strange and interesting things on my outdoor explorations and I thought you might be able to help me figure out what lives in this marsh? What lives around the marsh in the woods? What are some clues that we can find that tells us what types of animals live here? And how do we know? I call this a habitat. So what is a habitat? Well, a habitat is all of the natural features that make up a specific area. So when I look at my marsh habitat, I can see plants, I can hear animals. I also feel the temperature, the weather that makes up this area, which is unique and can support certain kinds of life. Now, specific habitats can only support specific types of plants and animals. For example, do you think that a lot of cacti grow in this habitat? Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe some, but it's not a great habitat because it's kind of moist here. So our weather isn't a perfect habitat for those kinds of plants. Same thing for animals. Do you think there's a lot of penguins here in Harvard? There are not. And there's a lot of reasons why, including there aren't the weather conditions that penguins like. There aren't the types of food that penguins like to eat here. There aren't the types of areas that can support penguin life. So we don't have penguins here. Ooh, but I just heard something that we do have here jump into the water because this is a habitat that supports that kind of life. So let's take a closer look. What are you already noticing about this marsh habitat? Look at what's growing here. Listen to the sounds you hear. Try to notice anything you can that gives you hints about what type of life this habitat might support. There's so many interesting things about this marsh, from the water itself with all kinds of life in it, all the sounds around it, there are beautiful tall green trees and tiny moss gardens. There's rock ledges and even little caves, wildflowers, and also a few things that are a little bit mysterious. Hmm, I wonder what's happened to that tree? Or what's going on at the base of this tree? It's a pretty big tree. Why is it all hollow inside like that? Do you think anybody might live in there? I wonder. Or who could have dug all these holes? I'm hoping that you'll help me solve some of these mysteries by looking for clues around our marsh habitat. So thanks for exploring with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. For today's activity, I want you to start to put together the clues that you saw today. Look at the last video and think, what types of animals might live in this marsh habitat? Can you think of two or maybe three animals? Remember to not only look for signs around you in the video, but also listen carefully to what you hear because those things will also give you clues about what could live there. If you can think of two or three animals that might live in the marsh, please draw them so that I get to see what you think lives there. I can't wait. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna go explore this cool cave I just found. I'll see you next time.